So the Israeli delegation at the UN decided uh, they were going to put on a little show here in the midst of their bombing campaign in Gaza where they're killing civilians left and right. And they really ramped up the uh, victim complex meter. So look at what they do. Look at this stunt they pull. From now on, my team and I will wear yellow stars. We will wear this star until you condemn the atrocities of Hamas and demand the immediate release of our hostages. And here's a picture of it. You can see here. It's the Jewish star. It says never again. Now, this is like, these are Nazi era. It's a Nazi era thing where it was like, this is how we're going to single out the Jews. This is how you're going to know it's the Jews. We're going to put the star on them so that everybody's aware of, of who the, uh, the evil doers are, right? And so what they're doing is they're saying, Oh, UN, you think we're such bad guys? Well, we're actually the victims. And this is just like, this is just like the Holocaust. And you're not standing with us. When we said never again, we meant it. Now, I want to remind you guys, this is in the midst of, let me see if I could find the graphic here. This is where we're at right now with the Israeli bombing campaign in Gaza. 9,000 killed, nearly 2,000 caught under the rubble, nearly 22,000 injured, 1.4 million Gazans displaced. You go on here and you see uh, 87 press headquarters have been damaged or destroyed. 147 schools have been damaged or destroyed. This is by Israel. This is by Israel's bombing campaign. 513 factories destroyed. 47 mosques damaged. Three churches bombed. 247 health staff bombed. 107 health facilities bombed. 32 journalists murdered. This is by Israel. So in the midst of them bombing civilian infrastructure, in the midst of them killing innocent people, in the midst of them doing a total medieval-style siege on Gaza, no food, no fuel, no power, people literally tr drinking salt water to survive, they're at the UN playing the victim. Now, understand something. On October 7th, on October 8th, Everybody in the world was like, yeah, you're a victim. You just got hit with a, with a terror attack. In the same way that on 9-12-2001, everybody's like, yeah, America, you're a victim. Your innocent civilians were killed. Israeli innocent civilians were killed in a brutal terror attack by Hamas. Everybody was with you. Everybody should be with you. But since then, you've now killed way more Palestinian civilians on purpose. And you're still playing the victim. So who should really be wearing the stars? Shouldn't it be a Palestinian grandma and a Palestinian child? But no, they're playing the victim. And they're doing the whole, like, release the hostages. Well, we want the hostages to be released. The UN is in no position to get the hostages released. Hamas has the hostages. It's Israeli negotiators who can work with Hamas to release the hostages. There's already a deal on the table. There's about 10,000 Palestinian political prisoners... They say, you release our political prisoners, we release all of your hostages. That deal's on the table. So I don't know why you're at the UN saying, oh, I need you to condemn Hamas. That's the easiest thing in the world. Of course, Hamas, condemned. But do you also condemn the IDF acting like a terrorist military and purposefully targeting civilian infrastructure, including a refugee camp that was bombed twice the other day, where at least there's 100 people killed? At least, probably more than that? They said on CNN, yeah, we were going after one Hamas guy. And even Wolf Blitzer was like, but wait, over 100 people are dead. What are you talking about? You did that. You killed over 100 people, knowing it's civilians, to get one Hamas guy. And homie was like, look, war is difficult, bro. And in the midst of all of this, to be fair, this video was before the bombing of the refugee camp. But it was not before the bombing of various hospital buildings and various people fleeing from the north to the south, which is what the IDF told them to do. It was not before the bombing of various mosques and other civilian infrastructure, not before the siege. They're sitting there playing the victim. Look, there's a very important political and psychological point to make here, which is every single atrocity in history is carried out by people who are super convinced that they are the victims. So in other words, all reason, all logic, all proportionality, all morality goes out the window. 
It's just an emotional response. Look, you can see the parallel with what Hamas did too, right? Yes, Palestinians have been under occupation for decades and decades. You have basically a total police state in Gaza. No human rights, no political rights at all. The West Bank, Palestinians get their land stolen all willy-nilly on a regular basis by illegal ultra-Orthodox Israeli settlers. Yeah, Palestinians are victim in that, victims in that respect. But when Hamas goes and massacres innocent civilians, now you are victimizing innocent Israelis. But since there's, we're victims, we're victims, we're victims, then the, anything is justified. In the name of self-defense, anything is justified, even if I go on the offense. And that's exactly what Israel's doing here. We're victims, we're victims, we're victims, and that's why we gotta bomb the hospital. That's why we gotta bomb the refugee camp. That's why we gotta bomb the innocent people. That's why we gotta kill the families. So there's this weird psychological trick that, that happens where when people are fully convinced they're victims, they could do the worst atrocities imaginable. Look, it, even, it literally happened with the Nazis. The Treaty of Versailles. The people of Germany were like, nobody has ever been more oppressed and victimized than we are right now. This Treaty of Versailles is absolutely destroying us. And so they felt hyper-victimized. And every step of the way, they had their scapegoats, right? The international community and the Jews. Oh my God, they run the banks. They uh, run the financial industry. They're oppressing us. Their boot is on our neck. Since they're hyper-convinced they're victims, in the name of that, it's like, well, this is all for self-defense. Everything we're doing to exterminate these people, it's all for self-defense. And this is the same thing now with Israel. We're such victims that, by definition, nothing we can do is wrong. So if we happen to kill civilians, well, it's in the name of protecting us and it's necessary, so what do you want us to tell you? And if you question us, you're like the Nazis and you're victimizing us. It's really disturbing. You know, it's the... This is a point many people have made, but apparently when, uh, when Never Again was said after the Holocaust... People didn't think or expect it was never again just about us. It should be never again for anybody. But it appears like it's not never again for anybody. As long as it's others, it's like, well, they had it coming. That seems to be the notion. When you're at, when you're at the UN playing the victim, as you massacre civilian casualties as standard operating procedure. So, super disturbing, man. Super disturbing. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.